We just arrived to the villa. What is new around here, guys? The floors. The floors. We went to the playground and we found some flowers and so we went ahead and picked those. Just one each. And these hopefully will open up. I don't know about this one because I think it got bit. But the floors, oh my gosh. Are beautiful. I just love them. So this was all, uh, it was really gross carpet. <laughs> it was like stained all around the corners and there were like multiple stains on it. Plus it was really scratchy. It was just like, I don't know if it was just a really cheap carpet or I don't know, but it was really uncomfortable to touch, to the touch. So we ended up getting a really good deal on this. It's a, it's a premium vinyl or laminate flooring, um, but it doesn't have like, it doesn't have the sound that I feel like I associate with laminate flooring. They've oh, they've obviously come a long way with laminate flooring and excuse me, Eloise, do you need help? You need help with something? Pony. Oh, but you have it. Do you want to trade? So yeah, I think it looks gorgeous. Really great product for the price. Definitely like a good flip material type product. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you think everybody's gonna get sick of how many times I've filmed the deer outside? So yeah, that is in here and the master bedroom. And then this is going to be tile, and then that in the closet in there is gonna be a carpet. The stairs is gonna be the same carpet that's in that closet, and then the whole downstairs is gonna be this. So they're coming back to finish that up in the next day, maybe two days. It is beautiful outside, isn't it? <laughs> You're crazy, Bear. Who spilled their chips all over the floor? Mommy, a flower. <laughs> a flower. Oh, a flower. How was your day? Good. Slow in the morning, busy in the afternoon? Exactly. <laughs> really busy. I actually made Brad come home at lunch and bring us. Oh, it's oh, funny. Oh, guys. I just dropped them. Pick those up. So Eloise has been like under the weather for, it's day five. Is and it so, really? yes. So I started getting a little concerned, called her doctor, and of course the moment I call her doctor and then I make Brad pick up like some products to help, she turns the corner and is doing much, much better. So that's a good thing. Thank you. Probably. It's a boy. It's just a boy. We probably saw 36 deer over there. 36 deer, guys? How is that your estimate? Give or take 20. There was a bunch. Yes. Yeah, right, a lot of, they're pretty protected around here. Yeah. What do you guys think? You like your picnic table? Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. That's just cool. There was just dirt of them. Wow. Yeah. It is just flooring in a package, isn't it? it makes a perfect table. Yeah. I'm really excited to tackle the project of putting the rock on the fireplace. It's yeah, going to be. Awesome. Yeah. Huge difference. Yeah. It looks really good. Ah, they have to Stay on the path, my son. Stay on the path. Okay. Right. Deer. Like this? That looks good. That looks good. We're getting a little close to that edge right there. Yeah. Perfect way to straighten her out. Straighten her out. I mean, not a bad looking sunset. No, no. I do this. Should we take this on the road? What'd you say, Lindell? Take this one Teeter McTeeters. Hey, let's take it this way. Let's take it this way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bear, I was kidding. We're not taking it on the road. Keep it on the golf cart, you silly man. Okay. Jeez. Can I 
I'm we got kids on this golf cart. Yeah. Well, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. And he's a kid. And we got babies. Right. Yeah, we got babies on this golf cart. Oh, we have a baby. Trying hard not to scare the deer, but we scared one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm. And they're like 11. They're they're walking like ponies. Yeah, oh. Real time update. We so we mentioned why we're selling the cabin in a previous vlog, uh, probably about a week ago. But you know, people are a little bit confused. We thought we were, you you were gonna put the Airbnb or you thought we thought we were, you thought we thought we thought you thought <laughs> we thought that you guys were gonna put the cabin on Airbnb or VRBO and not sell it. So did we. And we well, did too, up until also, about three weeks ago. It's understandable that you don't maybe catch every single video. So well, yeah. we have, obviously, believe it or not, we actually do have conversations off camera. Uh, a lot. Um, and so we don't always vocalize those. And sometimes we have conversations in our head that we don't express to each other. And then one of us will say it out loud and it's like, oh, I was thinking that too. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we purposely won't tell you guys stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so we decided to put the cabin on the market because the real estate is the real estate market. So really, if you're going to buy a house, you should probably hold on to it for four years to make sense to actually buy the house rather than rent. With all the fees and yeah, stuff. With all the, yeah. The, uh, realty fees, percentage, stuff like that. However, in the current market... Like, we were shocked at... It, and this place doesn't have that many comps, but we just, like, on a whim, reached out to our agent and we're like, hey, what do you think this cabin is worth if, if we were wanting to sell it? And it's spring. It's about to be spring. It's, it's the perfect kind of time a good to time to do right it. Now. And it would have, like, in our minds, Best case scenario, if this place was booked out, Airbnb, it would have taken like four years to make what we could make selling it. That compiled with the fact that we, like the plan to Airbnb this place came before the plan to renovate the villa. So adding the villa on made this Airbnb dream less enticing, I guess. Mm -hmm. Just like a lot more work. Right, and we're floating another mortgage, which, you know, if we Airbnb this place, our mortgage would be covered, theoretically, hopefully. Yeah. Um, so anyway, because the market's so darn hot, we're going to go ahead and sell it. Because we can make the profit immediately that it would take four years to build up. And so it's kind of a no-brainer for us. Would you, look, would you look at that little... That's a, little that's a beautiful pancake. So it's a no-brainer for us to just put it in the market... Take be, it off our plate. Be done with it. Um, We'd like to do that Airbnb thing someday, but yeah, it's definitely. just to, to start an Airbnb, to get started, especially with a full-size house like this. Like if you just had a studio apartment or something, it wouldn't be near as complex. That'd be super but, easy. Um, just, yeah, furnishings that we're not taking with us, knowing what to take, what to leave, bedding, shampoo conditioner, just like all of the stuff that you have to have ready for a guest. And not only that, but like having a cleaning service that you can trust without knowing. You have to have knowing. a reliable cleaning service, which we're, we're not out in the boondocks by any means, but we're not like close to this town. And they're all so darn busy, it's not easy to get a cleaning service to come out here. Yeah. And it's not close enough to our, prim to our new primary residence that we can just come out here and clean up. Right. Yeah, and and those are all things that we kind of thought through, and and then there's like, do you go full blown property management and have somebody take care of everything, or do you try to manage some of it yourself? And if you do the property management route around here, you have to pay thirty percent, and so that would take even longer for us to make the profit that we would just by selling this place. And so we're on the market. We had a ton of interest this past weekend. We had an offer. We didn't accept it. We still have some showings coming up. And we're gone this weekend, so hopefully they'll show it a lot again this weekend. Um, and hopefully we'll get it sold. And we'll be done with the cabin for now. It's sad. It's like, I don't know. I really, really loved 
the time that we had here. Mm -hmm. I'll definitely miss it. There's a lot of aspects about this place that have kind of shaped what we want in the future, like the wood burning stove and really just the wood burning and a stove. A giant yard. And a giant yard. And our own hiking trail. Our own hiking trail. A giant shed. A place <laughs> for me to work on the bus. Yeah. I want all that. I know. And we'll have, I mean, eventually we, like, we can create our future home around all the things that we loved about this cabin. Except um, for maybe a hiking trailer, hiking trail in our, on our property. Yeah, it won't be as steep for sure. But I just feel like there were so many good things that came from this cabin that makes it so worth having done it. Like Laurie is- Oh, uh, the profit alone. <laughs> the, pro the profit alone, but even that aside, like, very quickly buying and then selling a house like this this year of our life was in hindsight really the only way to go because Laurie's in the office right now it's raining mm -hmm. it's the perfect night to be in with a GI bug yeah. uh, Laurie's in the office and on the nights that it would get really really cold like in the teens or in the single digits she would wake up and the office would be 40 degrees inside and there would be frost on the windows and like she has a heated blanket so she's one person she just turns on the heater in her room she has a heated blanket all of her cats snuggle around her but the out like the main living space and probably the two bedrooms that our kids would were in right. excuse me would have been like 40 degrees so thank Ele goodness oh, the electric bill would have been expensive yes we would have had to well, I would have been worrying all the time that if the heater went out or something, they would have been. Cold. It just would have been really hard to regulate, but. Right. Yeah. So that is our, that's our update on why, why we're doing what we're doing. Not that we owe anybody an explanation. No, but I mean, you guys are like basically part of the family, so it's good to let you know what the heck's going on. Totally. I think in this world, there's a, a sliding scale of like, people who don't like to take risks and then people who like to take risks and somewhere in between. We probably err more on the side of like risk taking and adventure. And that may not make sense to some people, but that's what we like it's to do. It's worked out so far. I mean, so far we've definitely had some like real estate purchases that ultimately we lost money on mm -hmm. and it didn't make sense. And it'll all even out in the wash, I'm sure. But. I haven't regretted anything that we've done in the last 10 years. Not yet. Not yet. Remember the Habersham house? We ended up bringing money to closing after owning it for three years. We only owned it for two years. Oh. No, because we spent a whole year with it on the market, living here. That's a we good point. We, owned we it only for, lived there for two years. We lived there for two years and then it was on the market for a year. If we still owned it and tried to sell it now, I don't know hung on. That. We should have hung on to that place. It wouldn't have made sense probably to hang on to it though. Well, we should have rented it out for two years. Yeah. I mean, the Hindsight. market, man. I know. Whatever. What are you gonna do? It was a, it was like a, a weight on our shoulders at that point in time. 